ECU Athletics presents the ECU Basketball Show with Coach Michael Perry. The ECU Basketball Show is brought to you by Vident Health, official health system of the ECU Pirates. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to the show this week. Coach Perry will be here in just a couple of minutes and we'll visit the good news this week. Sean Williams, East Carolina's redshirt freshman from Little Rock, Arkansas. He is the rookie of the week. What a great week he had last week. Brian Bailey will be here too and our Pirate player profile will not be a player. It will be a broadcaster, my partner in crime on the Pirate IMG Sports Network. Cy Seymour will join Brian. Cy is in his 20th year working the basketball broadcast. Also coming up on our show, baseball is just around the corner. We'll get a baseball report. Also, Coach Connors will be here, and he will have another installment in the Camp Connors segment coming up as well. Coach Perry will join me right after this. When you're feeling less than 100%, Vitamin Health can help keep you in the game. With Vitamin Now Virtual Care, you can visit a North Carolina licensed doctor anytime, anywhere, on any device. It's private, secure, and affordable. Stay in the game with Vitamin Now Virtual Care. Anytime, anywhere, on any device. Switch to Suddenlink for more. Like internet, TV, and phone starting at $59.99 a month for one year. Want more? For $10 more, get five times faster internet and Showtime for one year. Want even more of more? And you can get Netflix for one year. Already have Netflix? We'll pay for it. What's more? Get a free Android tablet. Call 877-566-3401 or visit suddenlink.com for special web-only offers. 7,000 student athletes rising to become champions in 21 different sports at 13 esteemed institutions across 11 states. 360,000 students and 2.6 million alumni rise up in celebration of a Power Six conference known as the American. I feel great. Um, you know, I don't think about it as much. My mom just kind of, um, you know, keep me updated with it. Um, like every game, she'd be like, "All right, now you got this much. You got to average this and such such." But you know, it's a blessing to be able to, um, you know, accomplish something like that throughout the course of my career. Um, but um, you know, we more focus on trying to get this win against SMU. So um, that's where my focus is at right now. Coach Perry joins me now, and what a terrific career B.J. Tyson has had. We continue with the B.J. watch as far as the scoring is concerned. Went over 1,400 career points, one of the all-time leading scores in the history of the AAC. And, Mike, what has B.J. meant to this program? Well, consistency. Whenever you have a guy that can score the basketball like that, it's really, really an asset to have, particularly as a coach, uh, knowing you're going into a night where you're going to have a guy that you can depend on offensively almost every night. And that's an impressive thing. Uh, to have an impressive and says a lot about him. Yeah, I was visiting with BJ the other day and I talked so much about how his body has changed. He's about 30 pounds heavier than when he first got here. Sure, he's really committed to the weight room. Uh, this is his fifth year in the program, so he's grown up a lot uh, physically and mentally. Uh, he's committed to work ethic as well. 
The Pirates have had a chance to catch their collective breaths this week before the game coming up this afternoon. So, Mike, let's talk about what you guys worked on. Well, you know, the first couple of days um, you know, of this week, you want to try to concentrate on you. Uh, so we spent a lot of time trying to tweak our offense, what we call offensive cleanup. Also added some things to our offensive package and our defensive package. Uh, worked on our zone defense some as well. Uh, we had a day off in the middle of the week on Wednesday, and then on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we'll start prepping, uh, also continuing to work on ourselves, but prepping for SMU and the things that they do offensively and defensively because they're playing a little different now as a result of the injury to Foster. Yeah, absolutely. That changes things. I've never asked you this question. Are you – Philosophy-wise, more of a man-to-man -man guy. Do you like to play zone? Where do you come down, Mike, on all that? Well, it's interesting. A good question because uh, in the situation I, you know, I was thrust into, you know, you're actually kind of um, moving in midstream and uh, and asking the team to do some things. Uh, so I'm doing things that kind of fit the personnel in this team right now. Maybe not necessarily what my real true philosophy is. You know, ideally, I like to press. Uh, I like to play a lot of man-to-man. -man. Um, that's not who we are, are right now. We're not built for that. So we're kind of gradually trying to tweak it a little bit and maybe get a few possessions where we can have some pressing in there. I do hang my head off on our man-to-man -man defense. Uh, so we're trying to do that a little bit more. I like to be able to change defenses as well. 2-3 uh, zone, 1-3-1 one, one zone, 3-2 zone. Uh, but again, it's, in midstream, it's very difficult to do all of those things. So we just take a little at a time, depending on the opponent, what we think might be effective against them. The guy who has been playing so very well for the Pirates here of late is Sean Williams, a redshirt freshman from Little Rock, Arkansas, the Rookie of the Week in the AAC. That's two times now that Sean has been Rookie of the Week. He's starting to really shoot the ball extremely well. And Mike, I know you're not surprised. You recruited this kid. You knew he could shoot it. We knew he could shoot it. I mean, I always remember his high school coach, uh, who had been a college coach at one time, telling me, he said, he's going to be more ready as a scorer. Uh, than a facilitator early in his career. But it's going to come. It's going to all come together for him. And we saw that in the recruiting. Uh, more of a combo guard right now. He is capable of running a basketball team. Um, but it's a lot of responsibility as a freshman. He's more ready right now as a scorer, a guy who can give you offense, than he is in that regard right now. But it's coming. He's not far off. He scored 37 points in the past week and knocked down nine threes. Our Brian Bailey had a chance to get an up-close and personal look at Sean Williams. Thanks, Jeff. Here with the American Rookie of the Week, Sean Williams, for the second time. What's that honor mean to you? Man, it feels good. I'm, I'm working. It's, it's paying off. It feels good. You talked the other night after the game. You said, I've been working hard on my shot. It's nice to see it fall, and it fell, didn't it? Yes, sir. It's, hey, it's falling. I love it right now. It's falling. Yeah. You wear number 55 on the court. That's more of a linebacker number. Why do you wear 55? Uh, it's a couple great point guards that had it. Pierre Jackson, one of my favorite players. Jason Williams, White Chocolate. Uh, Brandon Jennings, who's, which is my favorite player, he wore it. So it's just a lot of swag numbers, basically. That's all. <laughs> you got time for a couple more honors this year from the American, don't you? Yes, sir. Way, way more. Yes, sir. 1-800-DIAL. ECU. Globe Trotters tickets a little bit less than for WWE coming up <laughs> on Sunday yeah. afternoon yeah. at 1 o'clock. Ringside's 100 bucks. Woo, a little out of my price range. <laughs> Take home six of our famous yeast rolls for free at Golden Corral. Hurry in for beef brisket, ribs, and more. Seven nights a week, just $13.99. And take home six yeast rolls for free. Yeah, baby. Golden Corral. Your choice rules. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus. Because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. As one of the largest universities and the largest online community in the state, you'll find the Pirate Nation wherever you are. With this many ways to connect, share, and succeed, we'll guide you to graduation and beyond. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. It's nonstop when we're born. It can be awkward, unexpected, or simply perfect. But at its core, attention is good. Here it's multiplied, not divided, and given to our clients every day. BB&T, all we see is you.
Take home six of our famous yeast rolls for free at Golden Corral. Hurry in for beef brisket, ribs, and more. Seven nights a week, just $13.99. And take home six yeast rolls for free. Yeah, baby, Golden Corral, your choice rules. Something's happening here. Groundbreaking research, discovering molecules that kill cancer cells, T-cell generation that could treat MS, breakthroughs in particle laser physics, top programs graduating business leaders, teachers, nurses, physicians, dentists, and healthcare specialists. If you're thinking this only happens at great national universities, you're right, this is ECU. America's next great national university. Welcome back. It's always great to keep up with former Pirates, and Maurice Kemp had a terrific two years here at East Carolina after he came in as a junior college player, played on the CIT championship team. And it looks like he's doing well, Mike. Absolutely, particularly when I see clips like that <laughs> with him dunking and breaking backboards. That's impressive. Really, as we have so many great memories of the CIT uh, championship, Mike, you were a part of that. Uh, what are some of your memories? Well, obviously, Maurice Kemp uh, scoring the ball at an extremely high level, uh, night in and night out. Uh, the crowds that we had for the home games that we had here, I mean, it was unbelievable. A uh, couple of sellouts or near sellouts. The crowd was tremendous, uh, like I've never seen. And then also the way the guys really played well together. They really, really did a great job of sharing the basketball, and it was good to see. Coach Perry was a part of that. We were there as well with the play-by-play -play action on the Pirate IMG Sports Network, along with our partner for 20 years, Cy Seymour, was there as well. It's time now for today's Pirate Profile. Brought to you by Quality Collision. Quality Collision, more than a name, a commitment. Our Pirate Profile this week is with our good friend Cy Seymour in his 20th year with the Pirate Sports Network. Can you believe it's been 20 years? No, Brian, I can't. It's been a lot of fun, but 20 years goes by quickly. As you well know, you've been in the business forever. Barkley has to take over right now. He's got to defend really well. But, Jeff, East Carolina, I don't know if I've seen a half that good, Jeff. Can you recall one? that was like that? Not off the top of my head. How about working with a legend like Jeff Charles? How's that been? Oh man, I'm telling you, it makes life easy. He's he's so consistent, he's so good at what he does. He's been sportscaster of the year, two of the years that I've been here. He's just a pro, he's just so good at it. I don't care if it's 100 to nothing, he's good at it either way. Take us back through 20 years, what's your most memorable call? The game that we won over at Utah when we beat Weaver State was a tremendous win. I don't know if it's a great call, but what a wonderful win to get that win. Miguel Paul's got the ball up top. Miguel keeps the dribble alive. Lebo says, go to the hoop. Here's Miguel with it. Gives it to Richmond. Three is up. And good! At the buzzer! At the buzzer! Hakeem Richmond hits the shot! At what the a buzzer. shot! Unbelievable! What a shot, Jeffrey! There's so many good moments. So the, the wins against Marquette, the wins against Louisville. The, I tell you, one that nobody knows about. We played one of the best ball games I've ever seen against Radford at Radford. I mean, it was like a machine, and we won by 30 points. So there's been a lot of great moments here. The CIT championship, that was the Jeffrey call, wasn't yeah, it? that was a Jeffrey. I even called him by <laughs> Jeffrey. I mean, that was one of those games. Everything had to go right. That was a good team. 10,000 people there. And, man, Jeff called it just right when Akeem hit the shot. Great win. But the other thing about it, when we got back, 400 Pirates at 4 in the morning screaming, Go Pirates. That was great to see. 20 years down, how many more you got in you? All I can go, I'll go as long as I can. I'll tell you that. There you go. Our Pirate Profile this week is with Cy Seymour. Feeling less than 100%, Vitan Health can help keep you in the game. 
With Vitamin Now Virtual Care, you can visit a North Carolina licensed doctor anytime, anywhere, on any device. It's private, secure, and affordable. Stay in the game with Vitamin Now Virtual Care anytime, anywhere, on any device. Are you ready, Pirate fans? Planet Fitness in Greenville is a proud sponsor of ECU football. Sail in for this great deal. Get the Planet Fitness Black Card now and enjoy exclusive access at Planet Fitness in Greenville, Wilson, Rocky Mount, and throughout the Triangle area. One low price for everything Planet Fitness. Unlimited guest privileges, free unlimited fitness training, hydro massage and massage chairs, tanning, and more. Make out like a pirate. Get the Planet Fitness Black Card today. Online at planetfitness.com. Planet Fitness, the world judges. We don't. Switch to Suddenlink for more. Like internet, TV, and phone starting at $59.99 a month for one year. Want more? For $10 more, get five times faster internet and showtime for one year. Want even more of more? And you can get Netflix for one year. Already have Netflix? We'll pay for it. What's more? Get a free Android tablet. Call 877-566-3401 or visit suddenlink.com for special web-only offers. It begins with a vision. It builds strength, endurance, focus, determination. It transforms athletes into a team and fans into believers. It creates an unstoppable force, a force to be reckoned with, a force that is power. The American Power for Life. Something's happening here. Groundbreaking research. Discovering molecules that kill cancer cells. T-cell generation that could treat MS. Breakthroughs in particle laser physics. Top programs graduating business leaders, teachers, nurses, physicians, dentists, and healthcare specialists. If you're thinking this only happens at great national universities, you're right. This is ECU. America's next great national university. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Very excited about the start of another baseball season here at ECU. We welcome back Coach Cliff Godwin, and he gives us his thoughts. Well, first off, our mission every year is to always grow on and off the field. We want to make sure that we're getting better in baseball, but also becoming better people. And then the motto for this year's team is, it's not about you, it's about us. So to really be selfless and then toughness over talent. In our first year, we talked about toughness over talent because we weren't the most talented team in the country. And now we do have talent, but we still need that toughness to be able to get through a long season. Well, I think our pitching staff is going to be, you know, uh, a veteran staff who has good stuff. I mean, you're, you're talking about Trey Benton, who has the ability to be a Friday night starter. Jake Agnos, who has the ability to be a Friday night starter. Chris Holba, who has the ability to be a Friday night starter. And even Tyler Smith. And all those guys pitched in the weekend rotation at some point in time last year. So you got four guys who have pitched in the rotation. So we're excited to see those guys. And then positionally, we have a ton of guys, you know, Brickhouse, Dewanye, Turner Brown, returners that are going to be the nucleus. But a lot of newcomers have done a good job as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, today we're with linebacker, defensive end, Chance Purvis. Uh, what we're going to do today is core strengthening movements where you can add resistance progressively. We're going to start out with a rotational movement with a device known as a landmine. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're going to extend. We're going to rotate and get good range of movement each way. Okay, coming back to the top. Good, good posture. Let's go one more to the other side. All right, good job. Next exercise we're gonna perform will be a get up, sit up. Uh, Chance's legs are straight. He's gonna drive his heels through the ground, feet apart, come all the way up. The barbell's gonna come behind the ears, back under control. We can add resistance to the bar progressively. Normally what we do is about 12 repetitions on each set. 
One more time. Good job. This will be a variation of the get up, sit up with one kettlebell. We'll start right side, get a couple reps. Switch sides. So we'll do an equal number of repetitions on each side. Usually working into that eight to 12 range on this exercise as well. Good job. Uh, next would be a Turkish get up, which is also an excellent exercise for total body stability. Okay, here we go. Like the elbow. Good. Let's go to the other side. All right, good job. Now, he didn't even use his elbow coming up, which kind of tells me he's got great core strength. All right, we're going to Renegade Row. Our last exercise we'll demonstrate today, and obviously we can use heavier dumbbells as we get stronger, will be the Renegade Row. So we're going one arm at a time. All right, good job. Uh, Chance sat out last season. I'm really uh, proud of the way he's developed over the last year. Really practiced hard last year and was very physical. Uh, Coach Blackwell is going to be very happy to get him in the mix uh, because he is tough and he's a very physical player. Camp Connors is brought to you by Core Power, official protein drink of the Pirates. Up at dawn, kid, look alive. You've been saving for a big man cave. Good luck with that, Dave. You made the most of your retirement plan, so you better learn to drive that RV man. So many things you're doing in your life. Nationwide is on your side. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus. Because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. As one of the largest universities and the largest online community in the state, you'll find the Pirate Nation wherever you are. With this many ways to connect, share, and succeed, we'll guide you to graduation and beyond. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. I'm not the type to say any of this mushy garbage. You know what? I'm going for it. You are completely and utterly awesome. I'm glad you showed up. In my life. I think I'm about to cry. You better not. Every single time I get down. You always have my back. My back. It's really hard to describe. It's like all these tiny little things. Yes, yes, things. Or actually, friendship. thousand student athletes rising to become champions in 21 different sports at 13 esteemed institutions across 11 states 360,000 students and 2.6 million alumni rise up in celebration of a power six conference known as 
the American. And they're really good. They got a great guard. They got a, guard, a great guard coming off the bench that actually played at South Florida a couple years ago, um, McMurray. So um, it's going to be it's going to be a good team, um, and we're going to just have to come ready to play. They got some tough guards. Shake Milton. I think he's leading the conference in scoring. We got a key in on him. They real disciplined. So just got to uh, watch film and lock in, check on like the stuff they do. Basically. Welcome back to the show. The Pirates are at SMU this afternoon. In fact, you can tune in on 94.3 The Game this afternoon. In about an hour and a half, we will begin our pregame show at 1.30. ECU on the road this afternoon against the Mustangs, and maybe not quite what they were a couple of years ago, Mike, but they're still really good, and they're contending right here at the top again. Absolutely, really good. Uh, uh, obviously, right on the bubble, I think a lot of um, projections have them as last four in. Uh, they got some great out-of-conference wins and against beating Wichita State at Wichita State, which doesn't happen often. Uh, it's a tremendous um, boost to their resume. A good basketball team. They're playing small with the injury to Foster, but it could be one of those things where they've actually gone small and they might be, even be better. The Pirates will have a couple of home games coming up this week. Two teams with winning records will invade Williams Arena Minji's Coliseum. Tulane will be here on Wednesday night. Mike, let's start with them. Mike Dunleavy's doing a heck of a job down there. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Uh, kids are really responding well to him. They figured out how to play. Uh, they got the right personnel in there. It's taken two years for him to kind of get it like he wants it. And, and they got great building blocks, obviously. Tough year last year. Um, but the really guys really pulled together. Uh, did a lot of work, obviously, in the offseason, pulling this team together. And it's, playing, it's paying off for him right now. And then Memphis comes in on Saturday. Memphis having a winning season as well with Tubby Smith and Jeremiah Martin's been right at the top all season long in scoring in this league. They still have talent, don't they? Yeah, they do. And they're always uh, one of the attractive jobs, one of the attractive destinations in this league. They're going to attract really good players. Uh, they've got a lot of junior college players um, influx of those over the last year. They've had a lot of defections with transfers last year, particularly the Lawson brothers and a few others. Um, but he's really rebuilt uh, this team. Coach, thanks so much for the visit. Busy week. We wish you the best. Thank you. That's the head coach of the Pirates, Michael Perry. And remember now, the Pirates in action about two hours from right now against SMU. Again, we invite you to join us on the Pirate IMG Sports Network locally in eastern North Carolina on 94.3 FM. Have a great week, everybody. The ECU Basketball Show has been presented by Suddenlink. One gig speed from Suddenlink is here. The ECU Basketball Show is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.